I'm once again in Santa Fe. I need more drugs, so I had to come to town. Oh, and food. Yeah, I should probably eat, you know. But if you have the correct drugs, you don't really need food. I was driving through Pohag. Pohagmagig. Otherwise known as Powaki. Only I can't speak Tiwa. Or Towa. Towa. And somebody in a vehicle just blasted by me doing high velocity. And just as I was about to say out loud, where's a pig when you need one? I mean the fuzz. When the Tahoe next to me turned on its lights and siren. And by golly, it was a tribal police officer and pulled over the speeding vehicle. So... Fuck you, speeders. Up the ass. With a hefty citation. There's no excuse at all to be weaving in and out of slow traffic at very high velocity. Let alone on a reservation. Bastards. <laughs> Which reminds me of that subordinate, low hierarchy alfalfa male on YouTube who calls himself Delete Laws. <laughs> The stupid bitch, that's right, the bitch, the cuckled, tiny little, unmanly bitch, gives legal advice to people who have been cited by police officers when he has absolutely no credentials, as far as I know, to be giving legal advice. He has no idea what the United States Constitution says, but he calls himself a constitutional scholar. Yeah, fuck. Um, he hates girls and women, by the way. Um, some of his videos, he fantasizes about beating up women, which is just pathetic, you know, beyond pathetic. Um, you know, a couple of his videos, he said, if this woman touches me, I'm putting her down. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck? I'm going to put her on the ground. It's like, dude. Why don't you pick on someone your own size, let alone a man? But he tried that already, and when somebody took him up on that offer, he declined like the cowardly bitch, I say, bitch, that Delete Laws is. I mean, I could beat the bloody shit out of this asshole, and I suspect there's a hell of a lot of women out there and some girls that could do the same because he's a... Bitch, he's a bully bitch, cowardly bully bitch that harasses women. Oh, by the way, he also pleaded guilty to stalking a girl. You know, but, you know, that's the mentality. Anyhow, he once gave advice to somebody who had, who had been cited on the Cherokee Reservation for driving under the influence of alcohol erratically on the res. And, you know, it's bad enough being caught off the res driving under the influence of alcohol, um, inebriated. Do it on the reservation? You're federally fucked. <laughs> but Delete Laws uh, told this woman, his victim, that since it was a tribal police officer who cited her, and since it was a Indian reservation, the police don't have the right to cite her <laughs> because it's not a real reservation. It's like a fake reservation, and there's no treaty with the Cherokee where they can make their own laws, let alone... Uh, enforce them the Cherokee reservation you know, people out there who don't know Cherokee reservation is like one of the first fucking reservations where they got autonomy uh, overseed by the United States federal government where they get to pass whatever fucking laws they want and their tribal police officers have the fucking right to enforce those laws. If the tribal council 
passes a law that says, oh, I don't know, visitors to the reservation must wear propeller beanies on their heads when they're on the reservation. Otherwise, they will get sighted. Uh, Ten thousand dollars if they don't have a propeller beanie on their head. Tribal police are allowed to enforce that law. So, and delete laws are like, oh, huh, oh, it's an engine. We don't have to pay this fucking fine. And he told this woman, you know, you don't have to pay this fine. <laughs> Good fucking god. This is... <laughs> I wonder if he like seeks out women. Uh, just to tell them that they don't have to pay the fine so that these women will have to pay more <laughs> in legal fees and eventually pay the fine just because he hates women so much. It's like, oh, you know, that bitch, I'm going to I'm going to increase her her legal fees by giving her free advice and it's worth every penny. Uh, actually, it's worth negative every, every penny because they end up paying more and spending their time filing frivolous sovereign citizen notifications to the court that mean absolutely nothing to the court let alone the tribal police it's like oh fuck i mean white people are like fucked up crazy in the head but this person is really fucked up in the head uh, good fucking God. Delete laws. I see on um, Google Maps, there's a business called Delete Laws House of Fun or something like that. Uh, Delete Laws Fun House or something like that in Clark County, Nevada. And when you look at it, the, where that's located, it's the Clark County Courthouse <laughs> where people are detained <laughs> when they're arrested. <laughs> That just fucking cracks me up. Anyhow, don't go speeding on the highways. And if you must, I have no idea why, don't do it on an Indian reservation. And certainly not in in United States Southwest. Because first off, fuck you people for speeding. Uh, especially when you're weaving in and out of the road. Uh, traffic. And not on the reservation. I mean, I would rather that uh, you be sighted off the reservation because, shit, that lowers my tax burden by <laughs> you stupid shits paying citation. But I'd also like to see the money go to tribal <laughs> police. So, yeah, I'm conflicted. Anyhow, I'm off to go buy some drugs. I see that in the town of Española like um, the east side of Española, which is slightly half of the town, has at least nine cannabis stores. Nine! And if you know anything about northern New Mexico and specifically Española, you will know the citizens here do not need more cannabis stores. <laughs> One is more than one enough. I mean, there's like signs on the highway that says, say, do not use alone. And I had to actually look up what they meant by use. They mean drugs. So, yeah. I'm going to go get some gabapentin, I mean, for my uh, Willis X bomb disorder. So, yeah. Look up delete laws. You'll see that he's a uh, cunt. <laughs> That's right. C U N T. Cunt. Cunt. A bully cunt. <sighs> Anyhow, I bought half a gallon of uh, excellent red sauce from the pantry. So I'm going to eat it. <laughs> I mean, put it on anything and everything. I mean, like jelly beans. Got off.